Hi, I'm Alan Spears, Chief Engineer here at Strong Poles, and today we want to talk about those mysterious numbers you're seeing on our pole specs. When you see the miles per hour of wind and that number underneath it, that is a number of estimated projection area. In other words, how many square feet of sail can you have at the top of our poles with whatever you're putting on it before it overcomes the amount of movement that we want to allow? So we're trying to keep these poles as stiff and as rigid as we can keep them without a lot of movement. In fact, we don't allow any more than 3% of the entire pole height of movement until it uh, overwhelms our numbers. So we everything that we do is to keep that within our recommended movement numbers. Other poles actually give you those numbers to failure. Our numbers are how much movement can you have and still be within our guidelines and that is the 3% movement. So if you have a um, Wi-Fi antenna, let's say, at the top of a pole, and it's one foot square, the estimated projection analysis on that is one, because it's one foot square. So those numbers you're seeing underneath the miles per hour there is how many square feet of projection, or sail, how big of a sail can you have, because it is a sail, it catches wind, at the top of the pole, and still be within our movement guidelines. So that is the numbers that you're seeing. When you see 17.9 at 90 miles per hour, that's how many square feet. So you can overwhelm that very quickly. Let's say that you want to put a um, four by five foot uh, solar panel at the top of a pole. Well, you multiply that, that's 20 square feet. So if you see that is over the numbers of any of our poles that you can do. So we say, okay, move your solar panels off to the side on a direct berry pole right beside it, or some of our um, um, dealers have put them at the bottom with mounts, and that works out really well because you're much more stable. You have a lot less ability to move that pole when you're at the bottom, uh, toward the bottom of it. So they put it in the lower half or lower third of the pole, and it works out great. So that's what our EPA, our estimated projection area numbers, mean. It's pretty much how many square feet you can have of something on there. A pan tilt zoom camera may be as low as one or 1 1.2. A bullet camera is probably 0.3. So you can put a lot of bullet cameras. Uh, our um, birdhouse is uh, uh, 10 inches by 10 inches or eight inches by 10 inches in some cases. And so that gives you a 0.8 or 0.1 or one point um, um, estimated projection area. And so it depends on what you put on the pole, but that's pretty much what those numbers mean. Thanks. I appreciate it.